charge induced in the ground plane by an overhead conductor illustrates the method of images and the superposition of fields due to line charges to satisfy boundary conditions. In practice, this circular conductor could be a high voltage power line. And this conducting ground plane could be the earth underneath. The potential between the conductor and the ground plane is that of two line charges, one just below the center of the conductor, and the other, its image symmetrically located below the ground plane. We apply a voltage from this 100 hertz source to the circular conductor. The actual charges are induced on its surface in just such a way that every point has the same potential as the source. Similarly, charges are induced on the surface of the ground plane in just such a way as to make it have zero potential. We can measure the charge induced on the ground plane with this probe. The probe has a center section electrically insulating from the surrounding shield which contacts the ground plane. The surface charge density distribution on the ground plane is proportional to the normal component of the electric field. It is therefore proportional to the voltage of the cylinder. Conservation of charge requires that the probe current be the time rate of change of the charge on the probe surface. It follows that the voltage induced across the internal resistance of the scope is proportional to the rate of change of the applied voltage. The upper trace is the applied voltage. The lower one is that of the probe. Because the probe voltage is the time derivative of the applied voltage, the signals are 90 degrees out of phase. As the probe is moved out from under the conductor, the lower scope trace shows the charge induced on its surface decreases. Electric fields at low frequency do not penetrate the body. Provided a person is grounded, the hand effectively shields the probe. Our experiment illustrates how the potential of two line charges can be used to predict the surface charge induced on a conducting surface.